Now that we have this localized mask mandate in place, people are reacting. Local MLA and health critic Renee Merrifield reacted by putting out a tweet that seemed critical of the decision, or is it? If anything, it's an encouragement to say vaccinations are working. And I think that there's a second line in that tweet that actually says just that, that we're seeing a vaccination uh, uh, campaign work. Kelowna Mayor Colin Bazran agrees that these new measures are probably necessary, but he finds it frustrating, and he's particularly frustrated with people who have chosen not to be vaccinated. I think the biggest frustration is the fact that the majority of these uh, cases are people who are unvaccinated. And so, again, the message continues to be stop putting uh, your health, other people's health uh, and people's ability to make a living in jeopardy uh, because that's what you're doing. And I also I hate to say it, um, but for the first time ever, I'm telling people to stay away from our city if they aren't vaccinated. And um, I never thought we'd, I'd see a day where I'm uh, here telling people not to visit, but that is the case. Most of the people we spoke to don't like the fact that they have to return to masks, but accept it. Uh, I find it, if it's, if it's for the greater good, we'll do it, but it's definitely not, not fun to wear a mask. I'd rather not be wearing a mask. I, I think it's probably for the best in terms of the public good. And I'm actually pleased about it. Yeah, I am actually living life to the fullest. Like, I will wear them all the time. <laughs> I didn't stop. I wore it. I was like, okay, fine. Like, whatever. I don't see the big deal. Yeah. Just put a mask on. So who would appear in Kelowna on a day like this, but the most famous, nationally known anti-mask, anti-vaxxer, Chris Skye. You wear a mask, you're an idiot. You take a vaccine, you're an idiot. You can come up with any excuse, oh, I want to travel, oh, I'm protecting this, oh, I'm doing it. No, that doesn't make any sense. You don't need a vaccine. It's expected this mandate will likely stay in place for at least two weeks.